What's up guys, Roxon34 back here with another video, and in today's video we have one of the most epic videos I have ever done. So, this is Retro Pack 1, the original Retro Pack. And not only are we re opening Retro Pack 1, but we're doing a battle with Rhyme Style. So if you guys, I'm sure you guys have heard of Rhyme Style, he has a massive channel. And then he has a second channel, which is called Rhyme Style Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, I believe. And that's the one we're battling. So he's going to be opening one of these Retro Pack mini boxes. I'm going to be opening one, and we're going to see who has better pulls. There's only three packs in here, so it's going to be, it's pretty, pretty big. Just to kind of put it in perspective, this mini box cost me $400 for three packs. So yeah, Bruh. it's insane. So it's going to be fun. This set came out in 2008, but it's considered one of the rarest and possibly the rarest set in Yu-Gi-Oh, even though it's only 12 years old. It just wasn't printed that much, and it's a really awesome set. It's a reprint of like the first three sets, I believe. So it was like LOB, MRD, MRL, and after that, it's like where it goes retro back too. So you can pull some insane stuff like Blue Eyes. There's some secret rares that are extremely pricey. Um, Scapegoats is extremely pricey because it's being played in uh, GOAT format. So obviously, we're not just going to open three packs because that would be a short video. So we do have a legendary collection we're both going to open. So we're going to move our retro pack over here. And we're going to open up this legendary collection. I haven't opened up one of these on the channel. I'm trying to think if I ever have. I, I probably have. I've opened a lot, but I don't know if I've ever opened them on the channel or not. So, I've opened some reprint packs. I just don't know if I've actually opened an actual legendary collection. So, first of all, we get our god cards. We get our six packs reprint packs. So, here we go. We're not going to show up the board and all that stuff. That's just, you know, we're just going to throw it aside. Here we go. We got our pack of God cards. We're going to leave that sealed. Don't need to see those. And then we've got our six reprint packs that we're going to open. Then we're going to go into the retro pack one. We're going to let you guys look at this awesome, awesome mini box for a little bit. It's a lot smaller than I expected, actually. I got the box and I was like, is it in here? It's so small. And then it, was, it came out and it looks like it's in good shape. So it's pretty cool. So here we go. Let's start off with Dark Crisis, because that's probably the least exciting. You can pull some cool stuff, like Shinado. That's what I would want to pull. Here we go. Precious Cards from Beyond. Contract with Dark Master. Acrobat Monkey. DD Trainer. Fear from the Dark. Despair from the Dark. Look at that. It's like Dad and his son right there. Battle Scar. Blindly Little Goblin. Battle Scar. I mean, how can you look at Battle Scar and not think of the song? I mean, it's just how it goes. Here we go. Spell Ruler. Let's do this. Let's pull something good. Um, yeah, this legendary collection, the packs are included in the battle, but obviously they're you know much cheaper. So get, just do the. I mean, you guys are voting on the battle, so if you guys think that a secret rare from a reprint pack should be worth more than like a super from here, that's up to y'all. You guys just tell us who you think won from the battle. I'll have his video linked below. If you guys somehow don't know about his channel, which is unlikely, but here we go. Red Archery Girl, Koto Dama, Yumuruki. And a black pendant. So our first pull is a super rare. What is this? We got a UFO turtle, boar, boar soldier, spear cretin, toll, and guy power. So if you guys don't know, in the reprint packs that came out in you know 2010, 2014, whatever, they have rares and foils if you get a foil. So that's why we got a rare as well. So there's our first pull. Hopefully not our last pull, especially when it comes to retro pack. Let's go to let's go to Metal Raiders, yeah. Let's pull, try and pull a Summon Skull. I've never pulled a Summon Skull in reprint or anything, so. We got a Kojo Kasi. Petite Moth. Tremendous Fire. Dragon Piper. Wish the Black Forest. Nice rare. Flame Cerberus. Really awesome. Three-headed Flame Dog. Blast Juggler. Battle Steer. St steer. And Oguchi. Oh, got that Gucci. Alright, there we go. All right, what do we want? Pharaoh's Servant. Here we go. Jinzo. Can we pull Jinzo? We have pulled multiple Jinzos on this channel, so I would take another one. World Suppression. Bombardment Beetle. Gradius. Bite Shoes. Prohibition. Insect Barrier. Mystic Probe. Deep Sea Warrior. It's a cool card, even though he's five stars. <laughs> and Wing Weaver. Wing Weaver I always really liked as well, even though it's kind of, kind of weak for the double tribute, even back then. Blue Eyes White Dragon, the first set to ever come out in Yu-Gi-Oh. Can we pull something big? Like an LLB Blue Eyes. Taihon. Masaki, the legendary swordsman. Dark King of the Abyss. K 
King Fog, Carbonala Warrior, Basic Insect, Dragon Treasure, Kumu Toko, and the Beaver Warrior. Our best pull yet, Beaver Warrior. All right, not bad. Invasion of Chaos, last reprint pack. So far, we just have a super, which is not too great. But that's okay. If we save it all for retro pack, I'm not, I'm not angry. Ryu Koki. Anti-Aircraft Flower. Smashing Ground, not bad. Giga Gaga Giko. They're giving me all the tongue twisters. Compulsory, that's not bad. Evacuation Device. Sylphy, Self-Destruct Button, Lord Poison, and Thunder Crash. So we only got one foil pull. I told Rhyme Styles, like, dude, whenever I open those, I get nothing. So I didn't get nothing, so I was kind of wrong. All right, but here we go. Retro pack. Let's just go ahead and take a nice look at this thing before we open it because it is $400 pack. A blast from the past. Retro pack. 2008 release. No first edition, just all unlimited because they're just not very much printed in general. Here we go. Come on, focus on here. Yeah, there we go. Return to greatness with the retro pack. Each box includes three retro pack and one secret rare. What could it be? If you guys don't know, it's a pretty cool card. I'll show you guys in a minute. Six years and older. So if you're six years old, you want to pay 400 bucks for this? Go ahead. Upper Deck, the good old days. We still had Upper Deck. So we're about to crack in this thing. This thing's like box fresh. Look at it. It's great. So, oh man, this is going to hurt. All right, sealed. So we're good. We're not we're not getting scammed or anything. That's nice. Because I did get mine on eBay. So I made an offer of, actually it was, it was not $400 actually. It was $399 or something. I don't know why. But here we go. Uh, yeah, because I made an offer of 300 and he offered 399 So I was like, all right, whatever. He added up at like 400 I think. Or no, 500 Not 400 That would have been. So there we go. We just opened it up. We've still got the Retro Pack sealed. So there's our nice box. Retro Pack, three packs. And you get a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is pretty awesome. So here we go. Rip into this. You get a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Let's check it out and see what condition it's in. Very European feel because these are a European um, pack. Another reason they're kind of rare because they were printed over in Europe. So they probably didn't print as many. Pretty nice. One of these actually sold for like 55 bucks in PSA 10. So actually decent value there, you know, not horrible. So why are we so out of focus? There we go, okay, let's see. Now we're on to our three retro packs. I've never opened a retro pack. I've opened some retro pack twos, which are still pretty rare, but not as rare. It's sticking to me. Here we go. Three retro packs. Lots of big cards in here. Um, but really, we just want to pull any foils, basically. Even the commons are pretty cool. There's some cool stuff in here. So let's go ahead and start. First time opening retro pack. Let's make sure we're focused on the pack. All right, there we go. Here we go. First time ever retro pack. Wish me luck. We really want to pull an ultra rare or above, but out of three packs, it's hard to ask that. So, oh, let's keep that uh, front nice. Because we do want to, I mean, they're, they're just not, oh man, I ripped it. These are not very easy to open, actually. Here we go. Toon Summon Skull Common. So that's pretty, that's just a cool start. We've got a Mask of Darkness. Thunder Dragon, that's like a $5 common, I think. Elegant Egotist. See, these are all like rares in other packs. What is this? And then a left leg of the Forbidden One. Rare. So that's kind of a cool rare. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Mystic Tomato. Flying Kamikiri, number one. And a Rising Air Current. So first pack, nothing. We're definitely going to sleeve our left leg of the Forbidden One up, though. I can't remember. Was the... I think Exodia's head was an ultra rare. I believe. So here we go. We definitely would want to pull scapegoats or cyber harpy if for our number one ask that would be what we want so hopefully we can pull one foil solemn judgment is in here as a super that's pretty expensive sangan as well here we go all right black pendant armed ninja see that was a super before that is a common or that was a rare mask of darkness Thunder Dragon again, that's good. And a Blue Eyes Tune Common. So see, look at these, these are not common, rares are really good. Gravekeeper Servant, Tune Mermaid, Mystic Tomato, and Flying Common Carry number one. See, this would have been such a cool set to open like when it actually came out, when it didn't cost $400. 
All right, so we're 0 for 2. Can the last pack save us? I'm hoping that Rhyme Style is doing well, because while this is a battle, I don't want anyone to get nothing. I definitely want him to kill me. I'm getting three foils. That'd be pretty awesome. So let's hope that we can at least pull one. If we can't, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because that's, that's all we can do at that point. And maybe one day I'll get more, but it's, it's pretty tough when they're this pricey. So here we go. Can we get one foil out of the mini box? All right, here we go. Mother Grizzly. The Trap Hole Common, pretty cool. Upstart Goblin, that's a nice card. That's like a six or seven dollar common, I think. Baby Dragon. Here we go. Give us your energy, everyone. Like the video. Right arm of the Forbidden One. Oh man, so we went 0 for 3. That is killer. We got two Exodia pieces. Oh, that's what I expected to have in our LLB box. We got a Toon World, Giant Rat, and a Mystic Tomato. Ooh. Man, I was really hoping to get something, but we got three rares. We did get Right Arm of the Forbidden One, Left Leg of the Forbidden One, and a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. We also pulled... So let's find the nice stuff. We pulled an Upstar Goblin, which is really good. And we pulled two Thunder Dragons. So we did pull some decent stuff. You know, obviously when you compare it to the price of the box, it's not very good. But when you talk about $5 and $6 commons, that is good. So it's, you know, it's got a thing on the bright side. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out Rhyme Style's video. So you don't get three packs of Retro Pack. You get six. So that's kind of another reason I wanted him to... Because I was going to open this anyway. Uh, I was going to get someone anyway, and I was like, dude, he just opened his Retro Pack when he said he saw me opening Retro Pack 2. I was like, you should get Retro Pack 1, and then we'll have six packs to open, so it'll be pretty cool. So we did pull uh, probably about 30 bucks out of this. <laughs> Plus, don't forget, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So if that gets a 10, maybe we'll get about a quarter of our money back. So that's just how it goes sometimes when you're opening stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I did want to open Retro Pack at some point. I feel like we're going to have to come back and open more at some point. Bruh. Probably not soon, because 400 bucks is a lot. But I have a feeling that we're going to have to hit up Retro Pack, at least another mini box, to get something. So check out Rhyme Style's video. Thank you guys for watching. It's been fun. See you guys later. Peace. Oh!